Yeah, hello everyone, Nervin Rex here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, so today I'm really excited because I just saw that Stupendium has uploaded a new song for uh, Frostpunk 2. Now, I we've already done a reaction video to the first <coughs> Frostpunk uh, song by him, and it was really cool. Honestly, 5 out of 5 stars. Uh, 5 stars. I've... And, uh... Yeah, I, when it comes to Frostpunk, it's one of my favorite games in the last few years. The writing, the graphics, the uh, the gameplay, it's just wow, chef's kiss. And it, uh, one of the things I really love about it is the political and dark side of it. How it really uh, uh, pins you right there in your uh, moral, in your conscience. Uh, with all the harsh decisions and you know you need to make but don't want to. So yeah, and uh, I've also played Frostpunk 2. Uh, I, the, when it, you know, the demo version of when it first came out. I haven't played the rest of it yet, and but for the most part, it's a really cool game, but uh, I don't think it's as cool or great as the first uh, Frostpunk game. <clears throat> but, you know, it's still pretty cool. Anyway, let's get to it. The song's called The Ark and the Tinderbox. Okay, free. Now, I'm uh, sorry if I might pause a lot, but I just want to say that first part uh, with the high-pitched uh, opera drama, uh, drama voice, uh, referencing back to the first song with the uh, for, first song with the Shelter from the Storms chorus. Honestly, I was really not expecting that. That was wow. Sorry if I pause a lot and this and sorry that if this is unrelated to the topic, but what do you use to what unit do you use to measure temperature? For me, I use Celsius because that's the standard here in the Philippines. But what about you? Do you use Fahrenheit like uh, like those uh, people who wish to overcomplicate things? Or do you use Celsius like every other normal person? Comment down below. Oh, so those were colors. What the heck is Auburn? I've never heard that. I've never heard of that color before. I'll have to search it up. What does it look like?
Okay, uh, and uh, as well in terms of the visuals and the uh, and the studio set for the music video, it's pretty cool. I wonder how much the money they put into the production of the set. <clears throat> how much is actual props and how much is uh, just CG? Because this right here is definitely uh, production props. Now this one, uh, one of my favorite aspects of Frostpunk 2, uh, back then, <clears throat> back in the first game, you have to deal with the public keeping their hope and discontent at a balance and keeping discontent as low as possible. Uh, but in here, the city has developed uh, and they've actually got a, a much more uh, modern uh, form of government. Before it was just dictator, but now they've actually got a council and or parliament. And uh, at first, it's a two-party system. But as time went on, all these new factions came up, becoming a multi-faction, multi multi-party parliament. And I, what I really love about that is that you, uh, you have, unlike where you have to balance out discontent and hope, you have to balance out the interests, uh, the interests and the and power between these fa political factions. Oh, I really love this throwback to the first song, but with different uh, lyrics uh, as well. Us to schism, just like Sisyphus, the myth of us, we never end incline. No filibuster preserves us from temperatures decline. No divisions cut so deep as those down lines where laws assigned. To the militant, the penitent, entrenched to get their fellow men, forgetting that the elements can not how you align. Without the heart, the blood will start to freeze, but to chill. The ichor pipe to give us light will cease and colder still. But if we were to summary our great and grand discoveries, then now would be we found the freezing point of human will. There's not the time for tears when all that's tears against the wall. They shrink the face and freeze in place for they've the grace to fall. If each a flake unique in shape is beauty framed in squall What leap of faith to dream our place was not beneath them all Oh, I'm so slow So, I'm looking at the music video and At first I thought the plot and team of the uh, visuals was just some random survivor Finding their way to New London only to find it in ruins Until I found out that maybe the, after the fall of New London due to maybe lack of resources or civil war between the factions the new captain was either either fled or was forcibly kicked out and when he came back in uh, and and then he came back only to find it in ruin because uh, if you've uh, 
Uh, look at the visuals and pay attention, you'll see. They're the same person. Okay, so it was the factions entering uh, entering a civil war with each other. I see. So careful of the type, but no, from scarpered cliff and quarried stone, she cries a thousand types are gone. I care for nothing, all shall go. Thou makest thine appeal to me. I bring to life, I bring to death. The spirit does but mean the breath. I know no more than he shall he. The book says poem ah uh, says somebody's poems on it. Is this an actual poem? Cause I'm gonna be honest, cut I'm not really that into poetry. I mean I can see its appeal and whatnot. Uh there are certain poems that I do like. But for for the most part, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's not my cup of tea. Man, her last work who seemed so fair, such splendid purpose in his eyes, who rolled the psalm to wintry skies, who built him fanes of fruitless prayer, who trusted God was love indeed, and love creation's final law, though nature red in tooth and claw with raven shrieked against his creed. O oh, life was futile then as frail, O oh, for thy voice to soothe and bless what hope of answer. Wow. Never heard I've never have I heard such a poem that fits the theme of the game. Oh redress behind the veil. Behind the veil. If you hadn't gathered, it's very cold. Yup, it's probably time for sponsor sh uh, sponsorship or whatnot, but you, I'm not gonna watch it uh, or listen to it. You can go check it out yourself. And um, the song was pretty great. It's pretty catchy, but I wouldn't say. But I think I prefer the first song better, the Shelter from the Storm, uh, one. And uh, but it's still pretty good. I give it a three and a half out of five. And, um, yeah, yeah, the lyrics were absolutely, were astonishing. I l love how, uh, I love how, you know, uh, stupendiums aren't able to add these words, uh, and terms that, uh, that aren't so common, uh, in songs and, in songs and raps, which really makes it all the more special and unique. Such as Auburn, I never heard that word, and I never even know it was color. So, uh, yeah. Because most songs nowadays, especially American pop songs, they're about love, love, hey, let's skip hard work and party for the night, and sex and whatnot, and, uh, I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. They are catchy to me, and I do like listening to them once in a while, but I prefer songs like this. Because this right here is art, while songs like those I just described were just... Uh, are just uh, plain and typical. Catchy, but plain and typical. So yeah, and in terms of the game itself, like I said, I haven't played the, re the finished version. 
Uh, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Not as good as the first one, but I still, but I'd still uh, play it, and I recommend others play it as well. And like I said, one of my favorite parts of the game is how uh, it introduced an all uh, an oligarchic parliament. For those of you who don't know, an oligarchy is similar is somewhere between a dictatorship and a democracy. Um, you still get vote. Uh, is still done by votes, and there are still like, uh, still like votes, and no one has true absolute power. Uh, but all the power and democratic power is within uh, the chosen, selected chosen people, and not the actual people itself. Uh, so uh, just think of it like Ve the Venice. Uh, during uh, the medieval uh, period and renaissance. Although it was a, technically a republic, it was, its politics was ruled by the nobility, not by the people, so yeah. Oh, another key aspect of the game is you get more technology, and also you can evolve from using coal to uh, fossil fuel, so yeah. But other than that, there isn't anything really that unique to the game. Uh, it still shares a lot of similar em elements to the first game, and um, like I said, I think I prefer the first game more. So yeah, I don't have anything else to say really. So if you like this video, you know the drill: like, subscribe, hit the bell, I'll link to uh, Facebook page and OG music video down below. Go check out Stupendium; he's an amazing artist. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.